the Hero India Show 2021 took place in the first week of February at Yalanka, Bengaluru. Military aircraft from all across the globe participated in the show. An interesting participant this year was America's supersonic strategic bomber aircraft B-1 Lancer. This aircraft boasts of over 50 world records in its class in various categories such as payload, speed, range, and rate of climb. This video is about B-1 Lancer, an aircraft that has been part of the American Air Force for over 40 years now. Let's also understand the significance of this aircraft's visit to India now. B-1 was built at the height of the Cold War. The guiding principle of US Air Force then was that they needed to constantly improve their capability to fly to any corner of the world and conduct nuclear attacks from extremely high altitudes. At that time, US had in their kitty B-52s which had great range and capacity and Convair B-58 which also had astonishing speed. The next challenge ahead of them was how a new bomber could be created by combining all these characteristics. They hoped this would be possible through B-70 Valkyrie. The bomber that could fly up to 7000 km at Mach 3 speed while carrying a load of 25 tons. It soon lost its relevance when Soviet Union introduced MiG-25 Foxbat, which also had a speed of Mach 3. Besides this, Soviet Union had also developed powerful surface-to-air missiles. In 1960, Soviet Union destroyed a CIA spy craft conducting surveillance over USSR at 70,000 feet using these surface-to-air missiles. Initially. The US claimed that this was a civilian weather research aircraft operated by the NASA. But once Soviet Union started parading the pilot they had captured during the crash in front of the global media as evidence of the American spying, America was rendered speechless. Not only was this a big embarrassment for the US, but also had to redesign their entire bomber program. This forced them to abandon their high-altitude bombing strategy and explore low-altitude high-speed bombing instead. A bomber that could fly low at a very high speed, thereby evading the Soviet defense mechanisms and successfully undertake missions in enemy territory. This was just what the US Air Force needed. This led to the birth of B-1A, the predecessor of B-1 Lancer. Its maximum speed was Mach 2, which was a limitation given that Soviet MiG-31's AWACS system could easily spot aircraft flying at this speed. It was at this time that US Air Force figured out that stealth aircrafts were the future. These aircrafts could easily await the Soviet radars. The B-1 project was thus terminated, and 5th generation B-2 stealth bombers were given focus instead. However, when the US military leadership realized that an extremely complex stealth bomber project cannot be completed on time, they went into panic mode. They were worried that their existing bombers would become technologically outdated by then. The US wanted to ensure that they had an advanced bomber that can be part of the nuclear triad. They were also reminded of the importance of aerial support encountering the enemy during the Afghan war. The operational range of American aircrafts launched from aircraft carriers was a big concern. As a result, the US decided to build an excellent bomber aircraft even if it was as a stopgap measure. Hence, the B-1 project was restarted with a modernized design, resulting in the birth of B-1 Lancers that we know today. As a multi-role, long-range bomber, B-1B can fly as much as 9,000 km across continents without refueling. Foldable wings provide greater lift at lower as well as supersonic speeds offering greater payload and range. B-1Bs have a length of 144 feet, wingspan of 137 feet and are powered by four high-power jet engines from GE. Though the earlier model B-1A had a top speed of Mach 2, their huge air intake resulted in high radar cross-section. The remodeled B-1B had serpentine air intake ducts that lowered the radar cross-section. 
but this has resulted in a reduction of maximum speed to Mach 1.2. B-1's defense systems enable it to resist any incoming enemy missiles, jamming, infrared, countermeasure flares, and radar location warning are features that add to its security. Besides this, B-1s are also equipped to find and resist missiles aimed at it from behind. Given that a GPS-aided B-1 bomber can be trusted to fly anywhere across the globe to complete a mission, these have been a part of America's strategic air command since 1988. However, as part of the nuclear agreements that US signed with Russia in 2007, B-1s have been removed from nuclear weapons delivery. Nevertheless, B-1s carry traditional weapons play a crucial role in many American operations even today. These were widely deployed during the Afghanistan and Iraq wars and against ISIS terrorists in Syria. Though these are impressive facts, it is highly unlikely that India would buy such a bomber now. We have already done a video on this. But the B-1 bomber's participation in the Aero India show is a good indication that India is growing closer to the US diplomatically. This is not the first time that an American bomber has participated in an Aero India show. In 2019, a B-52 was part of the show. If what motivates India for this realignment is the rising tensions at our borders, it is the rising military deployment in the Pacific region that bothers America. Thank you.